Hey there YouTube, one fish, two fish, ROC. Uh, I woke up to a little bit of excitement this morning in this tank over here. Uh, that tank would be my recently built honeycomb catfish breeding tank. So I thought I would show you what's up. Be warned, this is a little rough and ragged, but that's how it goes sometimes. Let's take a look. Here's the honeycomb tank. It's doing really, really well. Uh, I had some breeding behavior going on a week or so ago. I'll insert a little clip of that in here so you can see what was going on. Anyways, in this pod right here, let me find it, right there, uh, there's a female that had been holding herself up for the last few days. I mean, to the point where I couldn't even entice her out with blood worms or anything. So I had my fingers crossed, wasn't sure what was going on. I would check in there. Um, forgive the glare. I have the flashlight function on so that I can show you. But anyways, I just checked this morning to see that she was okay. And oh my God, we have eggs. I have honeycomb catfish eggs. You can see her tail right there. She's just way up in this pod. By the way, these pods are amazing. Fish love them. Um, I just, I can't say enough about these pods. But anyways, I have a female way up in there, and we have honeycomb eggs. Now, I am brand new to this process. I have no idea what's going to happen. All I have is uh, having researched online and um, watching videos and such. So... All right, so here's where we stand right now. Uh, I've never done this before, so this is a whole new adventure for me. Uh, I'm really hoping that I can get some of these eggs to hatch. That would be fantastic. Um, there is a was a really good article written online. I will certainly put the link in where the author, uh, who had personally bred these fish himself, had said that the eggs should swell to about four millimeters in size. Well, if you convert that to inches, uh, that's bigger than an eighth of an inch. That sounds pretty big to me. But either way, he also mentioned that quite often the mother will kick the eggs out of wherever they happen to be uh, before they hatch. I don't know if this is deliberate or not, but I had stepped out just long enough to grab this little net box from uh, Cassie's store from Cassie's Critters and I came home and when I took a look at the pod where the mother was uh, sure enough she was waving her tail around to get herself repositioned and I saw an egg or two start rolling out of the pod so I had to act very fast um, I was able to recover one of the eggs out of the substrate not sure where the other went uh, fingers are crossed maybe it'll make it either way I picked up the pod, just put my thumb over the end, and put Mama and Pod down in this box. But this is a temporary arrangement. This is because these fish have sharp little serrations on their pectoral fins. And it gets caught up in netting very, very easily. So this is of great concern to me. But until I can get something worked up here today to replace this, uh, at least I have this here. I'm keeping monitored. I'm watching it. And uh, if I see any activity on the part of mom, I will certainly uh, be right here to mitigate if need be so. I don't anticipate that. She's holed up in there pretty deeply, but you never know. What I did manage to do was I'm going to move this over to where I have the eggs. Uh, I have the eggs in this floating coffee filter that I use for a uh, very tiny fry from my dwarf rainbow fish. I'm going to turn the lights off and move the airline just long enough so that I can show you the eggs. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull this airline out real quick and just put it down in where Mama is. And we're going to take a look and see what we've got here. Uh, 
I counted a couple times and I was able to count 17 eggs. Uh, I suspect one, maybe two, had fallen out at least when I saw that happening uh, into the substrate. There could have been more. Uh, there could be more way up in where Mama is, not sure. Either way though, uh, at least I got a bunch in here. So I'm going to keep the airline down in with them. Again, this was mentioned in the article that I had been referencing. So we shall see how we do. Another interesting topic in the article was uh, the author had mentioned that these eggs are very, very fungus resistant. No idea why, just Mama Nature has them doing that. Um, they're very fungus resistant and they are very, very close to 100% fertile by the time that they're late due to the internal fertilization and such that these fish do. So those are the eggs. I'm going to go ahead. We'll put that airline right back in there and it's back to business. I will start working on a solution of a box of some sort for mama and the pod. That way I can better observe her. Another reason why I wanted to get her out, by the way, was um, there is almost always a male or two uh, kind of hovering out around this pod. So obviously, um, you know, there could be predation, but bottom line, uh, they're obviously in the mood. And uh, I want to try to de-stress this mother a little bit. So hopefully uh, I'll keep the lights off and we can keep things calmed down in here for her. So temporary arrangement here, but hopefully this will work. Something else I did very quickly was uh, when I was looking at these eggs very carefully with a magnifying glass, I had noticed a couple of very, very tiny snails down in there with the eggs. So I went ahead and took tongs and pulled them all out and got rid of them. Um, I just don't want to take any chances. Again, I have no idea really what I'm doing. This is a first time, but I want to do everything I can uh, to try to give these eggs the best chance possible. I'm going to go ahead and I'll get them right back in the tank and we'll keep going. Well, there you have it. I've got honeycomb eggs. Uh, I'm super excited, but again, I've never done this before, so who knows what might happen. Uh, I have to keep a mindset, I guess, that if these eggs don't work out or something goes wrong, uh, I just try again until I get it figured out. In the meantime, if anybody out there has had experience with this particular species or something very similar, please feel free to offer advice, let me know what's happened to you, uh, just drop it in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyways, thanks for coming by and uh, checking out my excitement, taking a look at the eggs. I'll keep you posted, and we'll see you again soon. I guess it's time, though, for me to say thanks and goodbye.